Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. I know, there's not a short this week. I actually really wanted to get your thoughts on it. I know for the last few weeks I've been running shorts at the beginning, but I didn't know if you guys wanted them cut out of the videos and just kept as shorts, or if you wanted them somewhere else, or just what your thoughts were in general. I've really been enjoying making them, so I hope that you guys have been enjoying them as well. And with the holiday season coming up, I just wanted to remind everyone that I make some really cool embroidered merch. It's a blast to make, and I even have some new designs that will be dropping soon, so check back when they're officially released. I even partnered up with another content creator to make his own beanie. Keeping it casual was a blast to work with, and the beanies came out so good. They come in a variety of different colors, and they were a blast to make. So, as I said, please check out the shop down below. But I guess that's it, and I'll let you get back to the gameplay. Alright, block there, kill that, oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is Kai, who brewed up Tatsunari Toad Rider. Next up is Samurai Dancer, rocking his ever-faithful Malcolm Kettis. In the third spot is Simba on Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. With Hidden bringing up the rear on Missy. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Kai and Hidden mull to 6, with Samurai and Simba mulling to 5. Kai starts off the game with the Bayou into a Chromox. He imprints his Spellseeker, and follows it up with a Lotus Petal into his commander, Tatsunari Toad Rider. Samurai plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Pirate. Simba plays and cracks a Windswept Teeth as land, grabbing out a Tropical Island. He then casts a Mox Diamond, discarding a Tree of Tales, and ends his turn with a Sylvan Library. Hidden plays an Ancient Tomb into a Mox Diamond of his own. He discards the City of Brass and really hopes there's no Dockside in Samurai's hand, taking two to cast the Morph Creature, and passing. Kai plays an Emergent Stone as land, and for two casts a Waste Knot, triggering his commander to get him a Frog. Kai then heads to combat and sends his commander at Simba, due to the active library on the field. Samurai plays a volcanic island, and with the help of a simian spirit guide, casts commander Malcolm. Simba heads to his turn and takes 8 to his sylvan. What? <laughs> you paid 8? Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> Look man, I had two cards in hand. <laughs> um... He then plays a cephalid coliseum as land, and casts his commander Kinnon. Hidden has a Verdant Catacombs, cracking it to fetch out an Underground Sea. Next up is a Demonic Tutor to find a card to hand, with Hidden following that up with a Mystic Remora. Although Simba does have a Mystical Tutor in response, as he puts a Fierce Guardianship on top. Hidden then heads to combat and smacks Simba for 2 with his Morph. Kai untaps and brainstorms. He has a card to Hidden, and after he puts 2 back, plays a Phyrexian Tower as land. Samurai has a City of Brass, and for two, casts his other commander, Kettis. The Lizard resolves, with Samurai heading to combat. He sends Malcolm at Hidden, who can't block. With the whole table taking two due to Kettis, and Samurai getting three treasure tokens. Simba is digging for anything, as he takes another eight from his Sylvan. He has a Rejuvenating Springs as land return, and hands the turn over after that. Hidden pays for his fish, and plays out a Morphic Pool. He decides to take it slow, and hands the turn over to Kai. Kai heads straight to combat, sending his board at Samurai for 6, passing after that. Samurai for 3 casts a tandem lookout. The table doesn't like the idea of Samurai refilling his hand, so in response, Kai casts a Born Upon the Win, giving a card to Hidden off the fish, and a card for himself when the spell resolves. Kai then follows it up by sacking his frog to this Phyrexian Tower for 2 black mana, spending it on a Cabal Ritual. Hidden draws again, and the ritual resolves, with Kai then casting a Plunge into Darkness. Hidden draws again, with Kai paying 10 life into the Plunge. Kai picks his guard from the top 10, and the lookout resolves, soulbounding to Malcolm. Samurai then heads the Comet, and sends Malcolm at Kai, who doesn't block with the table taking two. Samurai draws three and makes three treasures. The treasures though don't stay long as he sacks them for a Hedron Detonator. A Mana Crypt then comes out from Samurai, giving another card to Hidden. 
The artifact then ETBs and triggers the detonator to ping Simba for one. Simba is running low on life and decides to not keep any extra cards from the Sylvan. He has an emergent zone as land for turn and for two casts a Thrasios. Hidden pays two for his fish and another two when he shocks in a blood crib. Finally ending his turn with a Ragavan. Kai untaps and doesn't have much as he passes. Samurai is safe from his crib and heads to combat. He sends Malcolm at Kai who has no blocks with Samurai once again making three treasures, drawing three cards, and this time getting extra three points of ping from his Hedron Detonator, which continue to ping down Simba, with Samurai on his second main casting an ingenious Artillerist, and following it up with a professional Facebreaker. Simba declines to take any extra cards off of his library and plays a Besaju as land for turn. He now has seven mana and can activate Cannon at instant speed, so he hands the turn over. Hidden untaps, continues to pay for his fish, and has an arid mesa as land for turn. Kai has a talisman of curiosity and feeds a card to Hidden. He then sacks his commander to the tower for double black and casts a windfall. This triggers the fish, to which Samurai casts a mystical tutor. Hidden gets to draw off this one, but in response to the tutor, Simba fires off his fierce guardianship. This triggers the fish, but responding to that, Samurai casts a deflecting swat. This triggers the fish, and responding to this, Simba then hard casts a Mind Break Trap, trying to exile the SWAT and Mystical Tutor. Another fish trigger is put on the stack, and in response, Samurai sacks a treasure to the Face Breaker to exile a Curiosity off the top. With him then casting a March of Swirling Mist, exiling a Time Twister to target Cannon and the Morph Creature. <laughs> this puts another fish trigger on the stack. Hidden then draws off the March fish trigger, the creatures phase out. Hidden then draws off the Mind Break Trap, which gets to exile the two spells. Still with the Windfall on the stack, Simba casts a Noxious Revival targeting the Mind Break Trap. Hidden draws and then finally responds with a Flusterstorm of his own, putting enough triggers on both the Noxious and Windfall to counter the spells. The stack then clears and Kai passes. Samurai is safe from his grip and heads to combat. He sends the Tandem and Kedis at Kai, Malcolm at Simba, and the Facebreaker at Hidden. There are no blocks, with the whole table taking 3 due to Kedis, with Hidden taking an extra 2 from the Facebreaker, and Kai taking an extra 1 from the Tandem Lookout. And with everything connecting, Samurai makes 6 treasures and draws 4 cards. With the treasures triggering the Ingenious Artillerist to ping the table, with 6 more ping triggers coming from the Hedron Detonator. But responding to this, Samurai casts a Trickery Charm, targeting the Detonator. Samurai does pay for the Fish Trigger, with Hidden responding with a Pact of Negation, to which Samurai casts a Dispel. He lets Hidden draw off the Fish, and the Pact gets countered. And Hidden is looking for answers, as he cracks his Arid Mesa. He grabs out a Volcanic Island, and then free casts a Force of a Negation, exiling a Kadim Silencer. Samurai is not done yet as he casts a Fierce Guardianship, letting Hidden draw once again off the fish. But alas, Hidden is out of responses, and the Trickery Charm resolves, making the Detonator a pirate. Then with each ping trigger of the Detonator, it makes another treasure due to Malcolm, pinging the table and looping it for infinite damage, and winning him the game. Game Review Well, guess it's a pirate's life for us. I can't believe how many cards and treasures Malcolm was able to produce, even after mulling to 5. I guess it didn't help that the rest of the table seemed to kind of get off to a slow start. And even though players were holding up counter magic, Malcolm already got down so early and was gaining Samurai way too much advantage. Who after the game revealed his hand of a Warrior's Path and a Maxwood Nexus. So even if his first attempt failed, he had another win right after this one. And before everyone leaves, I wanted to thank a special Patreon member, Josh Schutt, for his support of the channel, along with all of our other Patreon supporters as well. And as always, I want to thank all the players who joined for the games, and remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.